What's going on guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. I wanted to do something fun tonight, so I thought I'd show you guys my very first handgun. I get the question a lot, uh, what was the first uh, handgun that you ever bought or the first pistol you ever owned? So here is the FEG PMK and this is the first pistol I ever owned. And if you're interested in hearing more about the uh, sweet little Walter PP clone, um, then stick around and don't forget to like and subscribe. still really accurate. This pistol is very accurate. When I decided to do a video about my first pistol, I took my FEG PMK out to the field to reminisce. And I know there's more modern options for someone looking to conceal carry, but I still carry this thing sometimes. It's a very accurate pistol. It's a very reliable pistol. It hardly ever malfunctions. And I think if someone were looking to spend about $200 and they wanted something that they could conceal, something reliable, and something accurate, that they should definitely pick one of these up if they're able to find the magazine's it. magazine's a little worn out. It's a military surplus. Aftermarket parts are also available, but they're not easy to find. Things like magazines, springs, and pins are all available online, but you're going to have to look to find them. When I made this recording, I was actually a little bit rusty, so I'm missing a few of these shots. And you can't blame that on the pistol. That's all me. And we got one more. You actually have to pull the slide back. You're about to see what I'm talking about when I miss four shots in a row. Yeah, like that. I'm missing this one over here for some reason. That's it. The FEG PMK. These are mostly military surplus pistols at this point. Um, I believe they were made and imported between 1990 and 1995. It looks super sweet. It really picks up the light. That's one of the things I loved about it when I was, when it was new to me. I thought it was slick as hell. Even though it's really, I mean, you can tell this thing has been through some shit. It's pretty beat up, but it still has a mirror finish. Magazine release is right here. Not exactly what some people are used to here in the States. Yeah, that was loaded, but it's all good. Um, it's not loaded now. Double, double safety. Check. Oh, it's been decocked. This switch right here. Once you let this forward, you're ready to use your hammer again. Then you got a single pull. You can actually have a, a double action, which is probably like six or seven pounds, I think, on the double action. Pretty long pull, but single action is really... Really crisp. 
Nice. So the way you take this down to pull down your trigger guard, actually, you pull it down like that and you pull your slide back up and let it off. And that's how you break her down. Really easy. It is just like a Walter PP, as a matter of fact. Real easy takedown. And putting it back is just as easy. Actually, this can be kind of tricky. So let me go ahead and show you how I do this. You got to pull her up and over. Go all the way back and push down a little bit. You got to push that hammer down. And let your trigger back down. Or in, I should say. You're good. Very, very easy. The magazines are not easy to come by. You have to find a place to order them online. If I remember where I bought mine, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. But um, the PA-63 was another pistol from FEG. And these are actually PA-63 magazines that shoots uh, 32 ACP. But they work just fine with, and they fit with uh, FEG PMK, which is 380. So I thought that was an interesting piece of information that these are actually PA-63 magazines. This one came with the pistol. That is a PMK magazine, but you can hardly tell the difference. And these work very well with the uh, PMK, even though they are for the PA-63. This thing shoots really good, it shoots straight. It's very accurate with that fixed barrel. And I love this thing. It was a very good pistol for a beginner and you can get them for just a little over 200 bucks now, if you can find them. As a military surplus weapon, uh, these things, if you're gonna buy a pistol that's a little over 200 bucks, I think you'd rather have something that's extremely high quality and um, durable and accurate. And this is all three of those. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video, guys. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe and check out some of the other videos I've made. And on a separate note, um, on the 12th of December, I lost my father. So this holiday season, if you've got somebody in your family that needs to be told that they're loved, make sure you tell them. And on that note, until I see you again, guys, have a good one.